The Porsche 919 Hybrid is a Le Mans Prototype 1, dual hybrid racing car built and used by Porsche in the 2014, 2015, 2016 and 2017 seasons of the FIA World Endurance Championship. It has a 2.0-litre, 90-degree V4 mid-mounted mono-turbocharged petrol engine that produces 500 horsepower and acts as a chassis load-bearing member and two separate energy recovery hybrid systems to recover thermal energy from exhaust gases and convert kinetic energy into electrical energy under braking for storage into lithium-ion battery packs. In accordance with the 2014 regulations, the vehicle was placed in the 6MJ class. On 4th of March 2014, the 919 hybrid was shown to the press for the first time during the Geneva Motor Show. Porsche supplied two cars driven by six drivers for the season. Romain Dumas, Neil Hani, and Marc Lieb won three pole positions and the season ending six hours of Sao Paulo as Timo Bernhard, Brendan Hartley, and Mark Weber helped the team to finish third in the World Manufacturers Championship. In 2015, the car was further developed and was categorized into the 8MJ category. Bernhard, Hartley, and Weber won four out of eight races to claim the 2015 World Endurance Drivers' Championship and the World Manufacturers' Championship. Earl Bamber, Nico Hülkenberg, and Nick Tandy won the six hours of Spa-Francorchamps and 24 hours of Le Mans, driving a third 919 hybrid. In 2016, Dumas, Jani, and Lieb won the six hours of Silverstone and the 24 hours of Le Mans with the car after further development. Consistent performances from the trio won them the 2016 World Endurance Drivers' Championship and the team's second. Although Bernard, Hartley, and Weber had reliability issues in the season's first three races, the trio won four of the six remaining rounds to help Porsche win its second consecutive World Manufacturers' Championship. The next year, 2017, Tandy and former Audi driver André Lotterer joined Yanni in place of Dumas and Lieb and Bamber teamed up with Bernhard and Hartley, replacing the retired Weber. Porsche finished on the podium in the first two rounds. Bamber, Bernhard and Hartley recovered from a 13-lap deficit to win the 24 hours of Le Mans and three more races for Porsche's third consecutive World Drivers and Manufacturers Championships at the season's penultimate round, the 2017 Six Hours of Shanghai. After 2017, the 919 hybrid project was discontinued as Porsche entered Formula E. An evolution of the car, called the 919 Evo, was demonstrated in 2018, setting multiple lap records. In mid-May 2011, Porsche decided to compete as a works team in the Le Mans Prototype 1 LMP1 category for the FIA World Endurance Championship, which began in 2012. Two months later, Porsche publicly announced the plans and stated that the car would debut in 2014. Around this time, the Porsche Motorsport Center Flacht in Weissach expanded to 200 full-time employees working on the project's design, assembly, and deployment. In late 2011, Porsche employed Fritz Enzinger from fellow German Mark BMW to serve as the vice president of LMP1. Enzinger oversaw the organization of the vehicle's construction. At the end of the year, Porsche employed Alex Hitzinger, former head of F1 development for engine builder Cosworth and later Red Bull Racing's head of advanced technologies, to oversee the car's technical design. The car was named the 919 Hybrid to acknowledge Porsche's embarkation into hybrid car technology and honor its tradition of having similarly named vehicles compete at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. It was Porsche's first sports car prototype built since the RS Spider debuted in 2005, the first prototype Porsche constructed to compete in the top category of sports car racing. Since the 1998 Porsche 911, GT1, and the first sports car prototype to be raced by Porsche as a factory operation, and since the Porsche 911 GT1, a total of nine chassis were built. At the end of 2012, the monocoque was finalized to comply with a request from Porsche, which wanted it to be ready for testing in June 2013. 
It was designed for maximum efficiency while meeting the 2014 LMP1 regulations on driver visibility with a raised cockpit. The car's developers were inexperienced in the LMP1 category, but they drew upon the 911 GT3R hybrid and the 918 Spider hybrid powered sports car. The 2014 LMP1 regulations mandated that the car be no longer than 4,650 mm, be around 1,800 mm to 1,900 mm wide, and 1,050 mm tall. Aerodynamic fine tuning of the carbon fiber with honeycomb aluminum core chassis began in February 2012, with 2,000 hours spent in wind tunnels at Porsche's Weissach facilities and the University of Stuttgart. It combined the car's low weight with a high amount of torsional rigidity and safety, allowing for the foundation of a precise wheel location via its independent multi-link suspension with push rods and adjustable shock absorbers to exploit its 360 millimeter Michelin tires. The regulations reduced the car's maximum weight to 870 kilogram. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting content. Have a good day and see you next time.